Looks like heaven, doesn't it? As if you have seen heaven, Josh. But doesn't it look out of this world? I agree. But who has seen heaven anyway? This is going to be so beautiful. I am sure it will be. After all, God who created this world resides there. But I wish I knew what the kingdom of heaven is like. Well, Jesus did tell us about it through many parables. If you are interested, I can narrate them to you. Sure, uncle. Please go ahead. We, we are, are ready, ready too. too. One day, Jesus was preaching to a large crowd of people. He said, With what can we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable will we use for it? It is like a mustard seed, which, when sown upon the ground, is the smallest of all the seeds on earth. Yet, when it is sown, it grows up and becomes the greatest of all shrubs and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the air can make nests in its branches. But Uncle Yesh, what does that mean? It means that compared to the world, the word of God may look small and insignificant to us. However, once it grows in our hearts, it makes each one of us a part of the kingdom of God, where the weak can find refuge. But do we allow it to grow in our hearts? Sounds like my case. Most of my life, I have given more importance to the worldly things. They charmed me so much that the word of God looks so tiny and worthless. God uses small things to do great work. Who can ever imagine a tall tree when one sees a mustard seed or an acorn? But yet, these trees turn out to become safe homes for birds to reside. Think back to the time when Jesus walked this earth. So true! But we are children. What can we do? Stop thinking that you are young and small. Remember, Jesus can get big results from even the smallest thing you do for Him. All you need to do is to trust Jesus when He asks you to do something which may look insignificant for you. How can we show others that we love Jesus? Well, it's easy. You can show everyone that you love Jesus by saying a simple hello to other students at school, cleaning your room before your mother asks you to, praying at mealtimes, and more such good things. Doesn't it also mean that when we do simple things with love, we bring about the kingdom of heaven in somebody else's life? When the word of God is growing in your life, watered by your good words and deeds, you become more loving and caring persons. We, we want, want to give the word of God primary importance in our life. Can, can you help us? Sure, I'm very happy with you. But there is another helper sent by Jesus to be with us till the end of time. He is the Holy Spirit. Come now, let us ask His help. <laughs>